Alright folks, just going to do a video on the Canadian Jam Knot or the Arbor Knot. Um, it's a pretty handy knot, it's easy to tie, and it uh, is a quick one to learn. So one of the things that make this knot nice um, or handy is, is that it allows you to use a piece of string to wrap around an item. In this case, this is just a foam mat that I use when I go camping. But you could tie up a bundle of sticks, or you could tie up a package, or, or trash, or a sleeping bag, or <clears throat> just anything that you need to tie a rope around. And this knot tightens on itself. And uh, as you can see, it can get very tight and works off of internal resistance to the loop. Now what's nice about this knot is it's very easy to loosen. And then I can just come back in. Oh, sorry, come off the camera. And tighten it right back up, and it's not a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started, and I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks for tying this type of knot. Alright, so the way that you tie this knot is you need to have a stopper at the end of your line, and that jams the rope and allows it to uh, constrict on itself. So there's a couple of different knots that you can tie on the end. Um, the first one is a pretty simple knot. It's just a basic overhand knot. And uh, you want to leave a little bit of a pull tab here. And so what this knot will allow you to do is... As you pull this through the other, the second half of the knot, it will create a stop, which will allow you to continually tighten the rope on whatever it is that you've bundled it around. Now, there's nothing wrong with that simple overhand knot, um, but another knot that you can use is the figure eight knot. So the way you do that is you just make a loop, come over yourself, and then come up through the first loop that you've made, and then there you have your figure eight knot. Now the second part, you come around, and then you just tie a simple overhand knot, but you do not pull it all the way tight. You leave it open. Then you bring your other end through this knot with this loop going around whatever you want to constrict or tighten on. As you see, that knot just pulls in and it gets tighter and tighter. And then this will jam and then you'll be able to continue to tighten this down however much you want. Alright, now I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to get set up and I'm going to show you again on the bedroll. Alright, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> so what I want to do, the first thing I'm going to do is tie my stopper knot. So I make a loop, come over, and through. And then my figure eight stopper knot. I'm going to loop this rope over and then I'm going to tie my second overhand knot. I'm going to leave it open. I'm going to run this string around whatever it is I'm going to bundle and pull the rope through. So let's just get a good look at what we've got here. Stopper knot, overhand that's open, the string comes through. And I can just go ahead and pull down on it. When it's time to release, very simple, very easy, efficient knot.